that's two from two, defended both your uh, butterfly titles. How was that race for you? Oh, it was, <laughs> it was a bit horrendous, really. I was so nervous for that. Um, I thought I'd be a bit more relaxed because I made the team on 100, but I just I felt so overwhelmed for some reason, and I think my nerves just took me out way too fast, and uh, I was absolutely paying for it on that last 50. <laughs> well, we, we were thinking, you know, a world record could be on here. You went out in 58, uh, what, 58-3-1, and it was underneath the European record pace. Yeah, but... it felt really relaxed and, you know, controlled, and then I turned, and I think just all of the pressure just kind of got to me on that last 100, and I tightened up, and, you know, it's just mistakes that you learn from, and I'll go back and analyse it and you know, make sure that doesn't happen at the Olympics. Okay. Well, the race might not have gone completely to plan in terms of your pacing. That's still yes. two gold medals in your two finals at this pool. Is it good to kind of create that association with the pool and the golds? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always good to have good memories from races in a pool, and um, I'll definitely be happy to take those memories with me to the games. And um, yeah, even though pacing wasn't what I wanted it to be, I was able to defend my title and get on the Olympic Games for my main event, so I couldn't be happier. <laughs> So job done here now. What's next for you in terms of training, competing? Will we go to the Europeans perhaps this year? Um, I'm not sure yet. Me and my coach are going to discuss it when I get home because I haven't really. I don't tend to think about things till after I finish trials, and I know he has a plan, so I'll just go home and find out what it is. And um, I'm coming back in April for the prep camp that we have here for a week, and then. But I'll spend most of my time in Melbourne. Okay, well done, Miss. Thank you. Thanks.